Howdy campers, April Herring Murray here, marketing director at the Pacific Plug and Liner Flora View Mountains National Park. Welcome to the 2024 California Spring Trials. I want to welcome you to our national park where we will be hiking 10 different trails. So take a look at the trail map here. You'll see one through 10. So you're going to need to stripe on, strap on your hiking boots, get hydrated because it's going to be a long hike, but we're going to see some really cool plants along the way. And just so you have nice notes, we have a nice handy dandy field book here where it has all the plants that you will see along the way. As we go through the different displays, we will go meet up with some of the other rangers and we'll get some stamps along the way to make sure that we go through every single trail. And then at the end of the day, we'll get a nice little prize for hiking every trail at Floraview Mountains. And we're going to talk about Sympomiums. So this is a hybrid between a Sempervivum and an Aeonium. So we have three varieties to showcase here. Um, we're super excited because this is a um, very rare crossing. Um, so three varieties. We have Destiny here with the dark foliage and you can see how compact the habit is. Um, very nice uh, compared to some of the other Aeoniums on the market, which time to get a little leggy there. Um, we also have a nice red variety here. This is Sienna, nice red um, and also gets more bright um, at other times of the year. And then last but not least, we have Diamond right here. This one, nice green color with the red edging on the leaves. So these are a sneak peek and we're working on increasing the number of these sympomiums we have so that we can offer them to you in a 50 cell in 2025. But look for samples in 2024, which we will have soon. All right, well, that was a quick sneak peek of sympomium. Oh, and by the way, the destiny is quite famous. It won 2022 plant of the year, Chelsea plant of the year. So it is a famous variety there. And we actually love Destiny. It is my fan fave in the series. All right, take a deep breath. Ah, smell the lavender. All right, welcome to Lavendula Lane. We have two varieties here in bloom. Our English lavender is not quite in bloom yet. That's the Lavani series, but we do have two Spanish lavender in bloom. First up and first to bloom is Evergreat Blue. Wow, look at those flags. So these flags just get more and more gigantic as they age. And what I like about this uh, Spanish lavender, this is a one and a half gallon and one plant fills it. These were planted in week 41 with one plant and look how nice and branched it is. So this is a great variety for big pots and also early blooming because it does bloom early. Also for a shorter Spanish lavender, but multi-branching, we have Plum Power. So this one a bit shorter, a little bit later to bloom, but nice rich plum colored flowers, but they don't start that way. So they start this lilac color and then they age to this plum color. Like it is just wild. I've never seen a Spanish lavender with such plum colored flower. So that is Lavender Plum Power. All of our lavender are available in a 128, a 72, and our Fast Track 32. Yeah. All right, awesome moving one. along, we are going to go over here to, <laughs> to the Ecovecchia Summerina. We have the Summerina program, which is the original Summerina series. Um, this one is now up to 10 varieties, and this one has the colors of yellows, orange, red, but my all-time favorite is Blazing Fire, so that's why this one is out here um, all along the trail. And you will see, not only does it have a roundy moundy habit, but it also has some very interesting, what the breeder calls, Frangles. Probably not the technical term, but the nickname. <laughs> so that is uh, in the Summerine series, but we also have a new line extension that we found on this pathway. Um, so you'll go into the oranges and reds, and now you're starting to get into maybe some more pure golds. We've got some semi-doubles here with the suns up. Nice compact habit. Um, but as you move along, we're gonna start seeing some very interesting colors. We've got new Sugar Shake, which is a double, fully double variety. 
that has some overlays of pink on top of green and yellow. A very nice variety there, a larger variety. And then last but not least, new for 2025, we have Limonada. And this one is a super fresh, lemony look of a new Ecopecchia. So very pastel yellow. You'll see the lemon color coming out and then as it ages, it comes white, giving it this overall ombre appearance. So, and then you'll just see that nice dark button in the middle. Just a really nice contrast for that one. And this one has a very stiff habit, nice and compact. You can just see um, how strong it is. So that is Summerina Glow Limonada. So we'll walk around because I want to show you a little bit how the Summerina Glow Sugar Shake changes in the sun. So as it gets in the more full sun, you'll see that it gets more of this pink overlay right there. So very nice. All right, campers, good job. You made it through trails one through six. That wasn't too bad, right? All right, well, let's go over here. Look at this, we got Ranger Mark Radzma, our Western sales manager, and he's gonna help us get our stamps. So we got six, we did six of the trails. All right. And how have the trails been? They've been great. The plant material looks fantastic. Everything is in prime bloom right now. This is a great time to visit the park. Excellent. Well, as you go on, make sure you hydrate. All right, Stay we safe. will do. You Thank you. Go. Yeah, we got to watch out for the animals. I hear there's birds nesting over here. All right, so we're going to walk over here. We're just going to pass the ranger headquarters.